Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Jake and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Jake's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. Little tiny corrections and the motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any correction that's needed and the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on the training collar. You'll be introduced to his new training equipment and taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session with Rich tomorrow. Now if you notice, Jake is sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. The command is Jake heal, and at this point Jake has a job to do. And that is to maintain pace with you when walking. No more getting dragged out of your shoes. He walks nicely next to your left leg. His shoulders should not pass your left leg when walking, and when you stop your feet, he has been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. So when you're taking Jake for a walk and you stop to cross traffic or maybe talk to a neighbor, he should be sitting nicely at your left waiting for his next command. And you can see that Rich keeps his head up off the ground and keeps him focused on him. This is the sit stay. Stay is a hand and a voice command, and because it is a stationary exercise, you do not use his name. It's just one word, stay. Your job at home is going to be to practice to lengthen out his ability to hold this and the distance that you can go. When Rich returns back to him, he walks right back to his shoulders where they started, and they take off healing again. So we're sneaking, sneaking a peek at one of Jake's final obedience lessons. And you notice that Rich will change direction to keep him focused. And when Rich stops, he sits very nicely. Stay. Another sit, stay. And this time, instead of returning back to his shoulders, Rich will call him, and this is the recall. Now you notice Rich didn't use a high-pitched voice or get all excited. It was very low-key, Jake come. So that he doesn't come barreling in, jump on you, get all excited. We want that come to be pretty low-key and come and sit. And Rich will demonstrate that recall again for you so you leave him in a sit-stay and lengthen out the amount of time and the distance that you can go on this. When you take him home, that's your homework. Lengthen out the amount of time that he can hold it. Rich calls him in. He uses his leash as a guide. He sits right in front and his eye contact is really very good and Rich is not using food. He may give him a little treat at the very end, but he's not using food to keep his attention. So when Rich changes direction, so should Jake. He should be focused enough to know that Rich is going to change direction. Now the next command that we're going to demonstrate is the down from a heel position. Yeah. Left open palm straight down toward the ground. One word command to down, one word to stay. Your long down stay again can be practiced right in your living room. You don't have to go outside. And again, you can either return or call him. Rich opts to return back to him. And then he expects to get another command, but he remained lying there until Rich told him what he wanted him to do next. And it's important that you practice with him because he's a sporting dog, loves to have his nose on the ground. You notice Rich changing his speed in his walking and Jake matching his pace with Rich.
There's another down. And stay. And I always tell people, you know, time what he's comfortable with holding and then add five seconds a day. Rich will call him out of this. He comes and sits. He's a really nice dog. One of the nicest chocolate labs that we've had here in a long time. He's done a great job. Now this time, Rich is going to leave him in a sit stay. He's going to turn to face him. He's not going to go too far away, but when you're home, you're going to practice going further and further. This is your down from a distance. And he is a crawler. On that distance down, he'll crawl in and try to lay on your feet. But you'll practice all this tomorrow with Rich. Now we have demonstrated for you all of Jake's formal on-leash obedience commands. We feel he's done a great job. He's a nice, nice boy. We've enjoyed every minute of having him. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.